Hey, welcome. My name is Leah Renee and I am a Christian artist, mental health professional, and emerging art therapist. I make art for life. Um, I process my life with art. I express myself with art and I find meaning when I make art. It wasn't always that way, but lately it's been a way that I really am able to connect with myself and it's always been a way that I've connected with others. Um, in this video, I'm gonna share a little bit about my journey as an artist, what inspires me, my struggles, and my goals as a creative. Starting out, my curiosity, like the beginning of me loving art was as a child i remember writing on the walls at home and my mom getting me a dry erase board for christmas one year and just always wanting to write on something or draw or just create things and i remember <clears throat> my dad was always getting things from like things people were throwing out on the street where you know we would see it as garbage and he would turn it into like a precious treasure and that's one of the memories that I have of just being so curious about making something from nothing and using what I had and so that's kind of where my spark for creativity began and my parents saw that in me and they just gave me supplies and showed me like okay here we're going to provide you with this just do something with it <laughs> so that's what I appreciated um but I also struggled too just to find my voice as an artist I struggled to believe that I was an artist for a long time um, it was something that wasn't common with the people around me um, so I often felt alone in this journey as an artist naturally art can take a long time to create especially if you're going for a product at the end of the process which I'll also get into um, but I really just had a hard time to be patient with myself as an artist, which is kind of cliche because art takes time, but I have been an impatient person as an artist. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I always loved art. I was in school, grade school, I remember just making art for like fairs and um, always just being drawn to art making and portraits and things like that. <clears throat> and I remember in high school, I took all the art classes for electives and it was like really a thing for me. I was like submerged in all things art. It felt like I could just escape there and be in my own world it was very meditative it calmed me down um, I struggled with a lot of anxiety and just very introverted so I was pinning up a lot of um, energy that needed to be released and that's when I really began to see art and feel art as one of those outlets for me and it's just stuck with me all this time and so after high school uh, I, was, I didn't really believe in myself with art even though I was making it and everybody would say oh I love this you're so great blah 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 but I didn't believe in myself because it was just like oh this isn't common you know um, you can't make it as an artist but those thoughts were in my head and also I would hear thoughts of oh you're great you should do this blah 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 so I went a different route and chose to study psychology um, I looked into 
becoming an occupational therapist um, because it was something that was a little bit more of a promising career path. But I spent a lot of time searching in that and pre preparing to even go to school for that. And the doors were always closed. <laughs> and they always pointed back to making art. Um, even in other jobs that I had, I was always trying to introduce art in some way. But it just was like very forced. So after my undergrad of college, I got my psychology degree, um, my bachelor's in psychology, and I was still making art, but still felt like, uh, something's missing, what's next here? And I just started searching again. Um, I made art the summer I came back from school. I love to make art outside and just be in the sun, listening to some good music and just zoning out and that summer was really like a search for who I was and I just remember painting in the sun and seeing what would come about and that's when I knew like wow this process is exciting in itself because I'm discovering new things about me creatively and I was discovering um, that there was so much more to, than making a product, but there was so much um, adventure in the process. And so I was looking at other careers like, wow, what can I do? Um, meanwhile, I was doing art parties, like painting sips and doing some live painting. Um, at churches, like during worship services, some weddings, um, but really just cultivating that creativity outside of me. And I would come back and make things for myself at home. And so before I knew it, I found um, myself looking at how to draw people and so I looked into going to the American Academy of Art Chicago went there studied oil painting and drawing which was great then life happened and I kind of got distracted and I was just off course lost again and that's probably something I could talk about in another video like when you're pursuing your passions and when you're like on track and something comes and you're distracted because of insecurities and your inability to focus on what your goals are but anyway after that i landed into the field of art therapy and i was at the school of the art institute of chicago and that was really a monumental time of my life it shook me it helped me learn a lot about myself because there was so much going on there was covid and i was grieving um divorce and the loss of my dad and it was just so much going on but through that time that's when i really started to make a lot of art and process what was happening in my life like i needed to see myself from a different perspective and because I'm naturally a visual learner that was the way that helped me heal and along with that uh, my faith in God I love to dance that helped me um, and just being around supportive healthy people who had my back and that's what I really appreciated and so now I am at this place where I'm wanting more and wanting to share more and connect more with people who are like-minded, people who just want to have a creative outlet to express themselves, to connect with themselves, to connect with other people, and to really just be expressive and enjoy life. Um, it could be so frustrating because 
Sometimes we don't have all the answers, but making art can slow you down and just help you to appreciate moments. And that's what I'm here to do with you. So I hope you will join me next time and I hope you have um, an enjoyable time this time and I will see you soon. Peace. Like and subscribe for more art making and conversation.